Welcome to Season 4, Episode 2 of Chris Cast. My name's Chris Abraham, and this is uh, Season 2, and I mean see Episode 2, where Season 1 was all the way back in January. So apparently, I uh, left the reservation, if you will, which is completely a terrible way to start a podcast, considering that is, I believe, culturally inappropriate. But uh, here we go. I've had a little bit of request, uh, and I am interested. I'm ca- I carry this Sony, sorry, this Olympus uh, W5853 digital voice recorder everywhere I go, and I never use it. And I had been doing a lot of work, and I'd even tried to do a bunch of video bag reviews. But because I have three more days on my um, my YouTube restriction, I decided that I would start up the podcast and um, see what happens. See if you're charmed by my wit and candor, or whether you find me uh, despicable. I will be right back with you after the advertisement. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. My name's Chris Abraham, this is Chris Cast, Season 4, Episode 2. After months and months and months and months in January, I was going to start a new season, but I, uh, but I started a new season last time. So the last episode in January was Season 4, Episode 1, so I can't, I, I feel like I can't go to ep- uh, Season 5 without a bevy of episodes. So what I'll do is I will continue with season four until the new year or until my birthday or something like that and just, you know, ratchet up. Seasons are arbitrary. Everything's arbitrary. So when we get back, the uh, title of this episode is about uh, body batteries. And body batteries, by body batteries, I mean those numbers that Fitbit and Garmin give you. And I'm sure other devices. I'm sure uh, the iPhone and the iWatch and the Apple Watch and, and all the other Koros and everything else. I'm sure they all give you body batteries. But... I've actually found great success with mine, and I'll tell you all about it and about my health and life in general. And I will talk to you soon, right after the break. Hey, welcome back. This is my first time using this Olympus, even though I have a couple of them, uh, they're old school. Uh, They use AAA batteries instead of charging. They're big and clunky. They look kind of sexy. If you look up Google Digital Voice Recorder W5 WS853 My eyes suck. Uh, Olympus WS853. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to see how well it does with... uh, background noise and with uh, being able to do the kind of work that I would need a, uh, a studio or a microphone to do uh, if it's doing a relatively good job of kind of like you know not allowing me to blast the recording all to hell so I will of course I'll do some I think post-production work but probably not Let's just hope that this isn't too loud and that uh, it works out okay. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah.
Welcome back. Okay, I wear every day a Garmin Instinct 1 uh, Solar on my left wrist and a Garmin Charge 5 on my right wrist. I updated from a Charge 3 or a Charge 4 to a Charge 5 when I realized that it had heart rate uh, skills and um, Cardia is awesome, but you have to carry around a sensor and everything, and the Charge 5 does a great job. And I like to buy new things because every generation, the uh, optical heart rate sensor gets better and better. And over time, the software gets better and better too. Uh, unfortunately, I'm transmitting all of my biometrics to Garmin and Fitbit, but for me, I mean, who the hell am I, right? So, ce n'est pas important. And what I've realized wearing them to bed every night and wearing them every day and all day long is that um, the both the Garmin and the uh, Fitbit are becoming amazing predictors of how much energy I have during the day. And what I'm trying to figure out is whether or not seeing a full body battery is the thing that motivates me to have energy that day, whether it's psychosomatic or whether I, in fact, am a manifestation of the body battery and feel more uh, limber and energetic and rested and so forth. So, so that's what I'm going to kind of explore. Uh, I know there's a direct correlation between heart rate variability and low uh, or below uh, heart rate, low heart rate, uh, in terms of perception of not being stressed and of being, uh, and of having a fitful, sorry, fitful is not the right word, having a placid recovery. But, you know, if I go into, for today, if I go into my Fitbit Premium, which you need uh, in order to make that work, my readiness score, which is the Fitbit version of body battery, is a hundred. Um, it says that I so far had yesterday had very light activity, lots of sleep, and average uh, heart rate variability. Yesterday it was 95, Tuesday it was 70, Monday it was 82, but on Sunday it was 32, and even though it says that's good, I felt like garbage. I didn't really do anything, I stayed at home, I slept about, I didn't get any workout in. But today, I feel like a bull, I feel like a god. I feel pretty amazing, and uh, I don't know whether that's because when I woke up I looked at my Fitbit and noticed that I had uh, both over eight hours of 80 sleep score, which is out of 100, so amazing sleep, amazing long sleep. Uh, 45 minutes of REM, uh, 6 hours and 46 minutes of light, and 1 hour and 10 minutes of deep, deep sleep, and 100 readiness score. I mean, I generally have more problem with Garmin. Garmin is more finicky. Garmin eh, believes you're all stressed out, and I believe that their metrics uh, focus more on high-performance athletes, and Fitbit kind of dials it in for... Um, the average Joe and Jane. So even in Connect today, my body battery uh, this morning when I woke up was up to uh, 96. And, uh, you know, which is amazing for me. Of course, now it says it's down to 59. Uh, because I've drained, you know, I've been up for a few hours. It's 1.09 p.m. But even so, I, uh, I was really encouraged. And I'm not sure whether it's the magic of the, of the, um, of the attaboys of, like, you're doing a great job in taking care of yourself, or whether it's actually a good, uh, a good test for how the balance between, you know, the pace of my heart, the um, 
the heart rate variability, the amount of sleep, the amount of restful sleep where my heart rate was low, um, the amount of exercise I get, the amount of recovery, and all those other things. I believe the more and more I wear these things religiously and through my sleep, the more I realize that on days when I'm down to, you know, 20 or 10 or 30 or 5 or whatever, um, fitness, body battery or whatever Fitbit calls it, they call it, and this is a premium service, they call it readiness score. My readiness for today is, is, is 100. And, uh, you know, and I want to go for walks, and I want to be out all day, and I don't want to go home and work from home or whatever. I And I'm doing this podcast. I mean, huh, hua, huzzah. So, and you know, the fact that I have been focusing on my health and all those other things, I think, have been contributing. Um, right now, my only goal is to... Uh, is to lose weight and I've been uh, struggling with that I've been struggling with that but I have found a new uh, tool that allows me to maybe uh, vanquish that and get to the point where I can stop walking and start slow jogging and I'll report on the mad success of the subreddit called slow jogging on reddit and how it's bizarre that it's so because all I'm doing is walking and rucking these days and I'm not um, I'm not running or jogging. I also want to tell you I've rekindled my love affair with the Atreyu base model base model version 2 and I'll tell you more about that. I will talk to you soon in a second. <music> Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I do not know if this is being blown out. It looks like I'm super loud on the uh, on the device, on the Olympus. Um, I was, I am doing intermittent fasting again and I'm focusing on getting a good collection of only 1500 calories. So I was farting around at the Google Play Store trying to find a new tool uh, because Zone or whatever it's called or uh, the one that uh, Kevin Kevin Rose, is that his name? The one that Kevin Rose created or the intermittent fasting app. And I found one and I think it might be Russian or Ukrainian or whatever. And it's called, and it's freaking awesome, it's called Simple. And Simple is an intermittent fasting app, and it connects to MyFitnessPal, and it uh, is very assertive. It's not just a place to record information. It actually tries to coach you. And after playing it for a while, there's various settings, and I chose uh, to have a fasting schedule called uh, Flexible Protocol which means that it adapts to me instead of mandatorily and manually saying you must follow these hours. If I end up fasting longer or fasting less, it'll kind of adapt and sort of work with me. So I can track this, but it'll also give me the kind of feedback that I need. So they've got several plans. They've got scheduled protocols, flexible protocols, manual protocols, and circadian protocols. So I am doing a 23-1, or is it a 22-2, or something like that. And a few things have come to my mind, which is a 350-pound body requires an insane amount of hydration. And that's something that I haven't 
haven't thought about, right? The um, this particular app tells me that I need to uh, drink 155 fluid ounces a day, and I'm only with a combination of coffee and water. I'm only at 42 fluid ounces. Um, I have to drink more than 100 fluid ounces between now and and uh, and Betty Bye. It does a great job of tracking activity as well. Seems to really only care about 60 minutes of activity, but I can change that. It gets that activity directly from my fitness pal, and I believe it also, you know, gets things like steps and gets probably gets things like what I'm eating and so forth. It does track my food and it does uh, create personal insights and things that you need to um, figure out. And for whatever reason, I did not, I did not start fasting uh, back when I should have. So let's do a meal. So most recent meal, I had a meal, and I had it. I can tell when I had it. I had it at exactly because I put it into my my fitness pal. I had it at 12:05. So I will put 12.05 in here. Sorry you can't see. You should download it and check it out. And then it asked me things like, how was your meal? Great, nothing special, not good. It was great. Um, how healthy was it? Healthy, unhealthy, mixed. It was mixed. Uh, I had what was what's called a steak sandwich at Idido's. And so that's bread, leafy greens, dairy, meat, and it has a side of potato chips, kettle chips, so potatoes, and that's it. Then it was restaurant, it was time, and I was sitting at a table by myself. And done. And then I will do the, uh, I will, oh good, it made the f uh, fasting time start at uh, 12.05, so, it says that my next eating is going to be at 10.05 so in, in tomorrow morning. So that's cool. And I get to track that and it has personal insights like eating fish gives you many benefits. Well done. Why your digestive system needs a rest. Try something new to keep things exciting. Fish and veggies are a perfect condo. You logged avocado. Having trouble eating enough protein. All that kind of stuff. It also plugs in to my fitness pal with regards to logging weight. Now, I've been really naughty over the last five days, so I've been reticent to take my weight, but I have a, a, a wireless withing scale, which uh, not only takes my weight, but then uh, delivers it to my fitness pal via the withings server, and then tattles onto my, onto my uh, Twitter where Roger Roundy makes comments. He wants me to be 200 pounds. I want me to be 100 kilograms, which is about 220. And my devices want me to be 180 pounds. Um, and at six foot three, I don't know, like I feel pretty healthy at, uh, at 220, 240, 230. But, you know, maybe I should go for skinny mini. Maybe that's the place for me to be. Anyway. I'm really liking it, and you know, it's half the time is about uh, being have something having enough novelty uh, that you want to go ahead and use it, that it amuses you. Um, it's funny; it's a really good app. I highly recommend it. I paid for the premium model, and uh, I don't know what it's un unlocked, but it's really funny in, in so far that sometimes you hit areas where there's still. Uh, Russian or Ukrainian Cyrillic characters. So I am uh, I'm telegraphing all of my vitals to either Putin or uh, Volodymyr. So there's that. And I highly recommend that everybody try to find ways of structuring their eating. I think that intermittent fasting is a good idea, but I don't think you necessarily need to do, you know, um, 20 hours at a time or fasting. What I need to do, and I know myself well enough, is that I need to enjoy full meals and not 
little itty bitty you know meals I want full meals so in order to make it to only 1500 calories that means only two meals a day um, and then I want to go ahead and really focus on not eating between meals and focus on just being hydrated and uh, you know and I drink a lot of coffee and all y'all know that so there's that I think that's all to say about that. Uh, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a weekly uh, weight weigh-in. Uh, in fact, the tool that I am using called Simple is recommends to only take your weight once a week because it believes that like your uh, investment portfolio or your cryptocurrency wallet it it'll just drive you crazy uh, to weigh yourself every day uh, people you know have different evacuation of bowels different water retention etc 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 and they recommend which I hadn't been doing uh, doing it once a week the same time every week and so I think I'll make it a Friday thing Friday morning before I have coffee or anything and uh, start re reporting that way. Maybe I will include that reporting in my blog post, which right now is called Chris Cast, but I think I like the title Abrahamic exclamation point better because my last name is Abraham. And even though Abraham mostly is associated with Judaism, he belongs to Islam and Christianity as well. So. I think that would be fun. I think my smart friends all are terribly amused that my last name is Abraham. And I think it's smarter than just Chris Cast. Chris Cast is so derivative and boring and generic. And so am I. But we'll see what happens. I'll talk to you soon. And uh, the next segment will be how to contact me. Love you guys. Welcome back. It's season four, episode two of Chris Cast. So here's all the ways you can get to know me. I'm at youtube.com slash Chris Abraham. I'm at calendly.com slash Chris Abraham slash 15. I'm at chrisabraham.com, which is also abraham.su. I'm at gyrovic.su. I'm at twitter.com slash Chris Abraham. I'm at Facebook.com slash Chris Abraham. I'm at Instagram.com slash Chris Abraham. You can text me at plus one two oh two three five two five zero five one. You can email me at Chris at Abraham.su. And I think that's all. God, I hope this recording is okay. Uh, I'm not going to do much with it, so if it sucks, I will download it and put it through um, a, uh, uh, a tool, an editing tool, but if it's okay, that would be great. I think that the Sony that I have does a better of doing, like, active, like, active changing of recording based on how loud I am or how, how much I blow the microphone. But this one might just be old-fashioned, and I might be just way too loud. Uh, love you guys. Uh, please come back. Please uh, join me at anchor.fm slash chrisabraham. And that's my main place, but I'm also on Spotify and iHeartRadio, and I'm on uh, Apple Podcasts, and I'm on... I'm on everything. I'm on Odyssey, Audacity. Audacity is what I'd be editing this uh, 
this file if it sounds all wanky. But um, other than that, uh, let me know what you think. Subscribe, like, and click the <laughs> smash, smash the bell so that you get an update on my thingamabob. And uh, enjoy. Mahalo. Ciao. Aloha. Auf Wiedersehen. A tout à l'heure. A demain. Hasta luego. Ciao.